Hey guys, Taylor Among Us has here, coming on you with a gameplay video. And if you've seen in my previous video, I uploaded a showcase of a mod for Minecraft that I made. And it's for Minecraft Forge 1.20. Oh, and the mod is called Among Us's Dangerous Wild Survival. And we're going to be playing that mod on survival mode. So let's begin. And now it's the first night on this world that I've made. And now is when the monsters are going to start spawning. Now I've skipped to the beginning where I was setting up everything. Because we already know how the beginning always goes. You know, chopping down trees, creating a wooden pickaxe, and then collecting stone, making a furnace, and all of that. Not, now we're getting into the real action. Now let's make a stone spear. Then we're going to set up some torches around here. To prevent the monsters from spawning here. So soon we'll be seeing some of the mobs that I've added, that I've put into my Minecraft mod. Oh, we can already see one right now, a snake. Oh, and now it's dead. And you can see the health bar of a monster pig. One that we can never find. Yeah, in this forest biome, snakes can spawn. You see there was another snake here. Oh, and there's one behind that tree. And by the way, the snakes can climb walls. So let's retreat back to our house, which doesn't have any walls yet. Oh, and there's an armored boar. No, we didn't get any gold nuggets from this one. But yeah, there are a few things I might have forgot to mention in the video about this mod. Now the armored hog you saw just now that was yellow colored yeah that was a gold armored hog and sometimes they'll drop gold nuggets but it didn't this time though I think I see something over there oh more snakes I got poisoned. Okay, so now we have a bunch of copper. Oh, copper blocks. Maybe we can build a house that's made of copper blocks. <laughs> I like the sound. Oh, another snake right here. 
yeah, the snakes they spawn pretty often in the biomes that they do spawn in, which is forests, plains, jungles, and deserts. And since this is a river right here, you might even see alligators. Oh, and right now I was slain by a feral hog. And uh, now those things are probably gonna spawn camp. Okay, now that I got the spear. Huh. And that's a lot of pork. nearby. I heard it sound. Oh! It's this thing. Monster pig. It runs pretty slow. So that's a good thing. Oh no. There's another monster pig down there. It's been underwater for so long, it's, it's probably drowning right now. Oh, more hogs. Yeah, the, the little piglets though, they're, they're pretty quiet. <sighs> Alright, now let's cook our meat. And let's eat our apple. We're gonna sit here and wait for our things to finish cooking. Oh, heard another hog. I might have also forgot to mention the things that the enemies drop. So as you can see, the, the snakes, they, they drop snake meat. And then the boars, they, they drop pork chops. The alligators, yeah, they, they drop alligator meat. And I think the noise I'm hearing was the uh, monster pig that was down there. Let's go back down there and slay it once and for all. I think in future versions of this mod, I'm gonna make the monster pig move faster to make it more dangerous. I wonder where those pork chops are. Oh. Now let's get back to the surface. Then the snakes and hogs and alligators only spawn at night. Now that they can still survive during the daytime. So now that it's daytime, we still have to worry about the ones that have spawned the previous night. But I'm going to stop recording for now because it seems this area is pretty cleared out. So now we're back. Yeah, 
Yeah, but I heard a sneak noise. Let's build more torches. And the stone axe to collect more wood with. Whoa. Go around oh, and hunt. Yeah, we got stuck on the wall. But hey, we got three gold nuggets. We got another snake there. Yeah, we still haven't found any iron yet. Just stone. On the bright side, we have a, a new source of iron. It's the iron armored hogs. Because just now you saw a gold one. <laughs> Lead and iron armor togs all have equal chance of spawning. Oh, there's another snake over there. And one down here, too. They've been spawning pretty often. Because they have a high spawn weight. They can be pretty sneaky. Oh no, I'm lost. And there's another snake coming after me. Oh, and there's an alligator over there. Find the bright spot that has a bunch of torches. Well, there's more snakes coming. Now they get disoriented pretty easily. Because now I already lost any way of getting back home. Can't take one more hit. Now it looks like the alligators are coming after me. The snake over there. torches went out. Well, let's accept these ones. Yeah, so it would be better if there was a way to make my house more visible. But as of now, let's just get rid of all these trees. Yeah, and once you destroy all the wood blocks, the leaf blocks will start disappearing by themselves. Yeah, my 
as well get rid of all these saplings too. Move them far away from the house. Now next maybe I should build the house to be tall. Some ladders. That's a lot of ladders. Yeah, we're gonna build this house to have multiple floors. And this can be made of some wood too. So the birch wood. And this house is made of many different blocks. Well, that's enough for now. Let's go back out here and hunt down some more creatures. Oh, some random pork chops floating around. Let's see what other creatures we can find. Oh. There's a feral piglet. It was kind of stuck there though. Try not to get too far away from the house, or I'm not going to be able to find my way back. And there's a snake over there.
There's a lot of snakes. As I make more updates to this mod, I'll add more creatures and maybe even some more weapons too. Well, it seems there's not really going to be anything else to show for now. So I'm going to end the recording, and this will be the end of the video.